Operation Compass was the first large Allied military operation of the Western Desert Campaign during the Second World War. British and other Commonwealth forces attacked Italian forces in western Egypt and Cyrenaica, the eastern province of Libya, from December 1940 to February 1941, with great success. The Western Desert Force Lieutenant General Richard O'Connor with about 36,000 men, advanced from Mursa Matru in Egypt on a five-day raid against the Italian positions of the 10th Army Marshal Rodolfo Graziani, which had about 150,000 men in fortified posts around Sidi Barani and in Cyrenaica. The 10th Army was swiftly defeated and the British continued the operation, to pursue the remnants of the 10th Army to Beta Fomm and El Aghela on the Gulf of Sirta. The British took over 138,000 Italian and Libyan prisoners, hundreds of tanks, and more than 1,000 guns and aircraft, against British losses of 1,900 men killed and wounded, about 10% of their infantry. The British were unable to continue beyond El Aghela, due to broken down and worn out vehicles and the diversion, beginning in March 1941, of the best equipped units to the Greek campaign in Operation Luster. Background Topic. Tenth Army When war was declared, the Fifth Army General Italo Garibaldi was in Tripolitania the western Libyan province and the Tenth Army General Mario Berti was in Cyrenaica to the east. Once the French in Tunisia no longer posed a threat to Tripolitania, units of the Fifth Army were used to reinforce the Tenth Army. When Governor-General of Libya Italo Balbo was killed by friendly fire, Marshal Graziani took his place. Graziani expressed doubts about the capabilities of the large non-mechanized force to defeat the British, who though smaller in numbers were motorized. After being reinforced from the 5th Army, the 10th Army controlled the equivalent of four corps with 150,000 infantry, 1,600 guns, 600 tankettes and tanks and 331 aircraft. The 20th Corps had the 60th Infantry Division Sabratha and the 21st Corps had the 1st Blackshirt Division 23 Marzo, the 2nd Blackshirt Division 28 Atober and the 63 Infantry Division Serene. 22nd Corps had the 61st Infantry Division Serta and 23rd Corps had the 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Geneo and the 64th Infantry Division Cotanzaro. The new group of Libyan divisions Grupo Divisioni Labiche had the Maleti Group, the 1st Libyan Division Sibel Major General Luigi Sibel and the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori Major General Armando Pescatori. The only non-infantry formation was the partially motorized and lightly armored Maleti Group. The Ragruppamento Maletti, General Pietro Maletti was formed at Derna on 8 July 1940, with seven Libyan motorized infantry battalions, a company of Fiat M11-39 tanks, a company of L3 33rds tankettes, motorized artillery and supply units as the main motorized unit of the 10th Army. On 29 August, as more tanks arrived from Italy, the Comando Carri della Libia Libyan Tank Command was formed under the command of Colonel Valentini, with three Ragruppamenti. Ragruppamento Oresca, Colonel Oresca with the I-Medium Tank Battalion and the 31st, 61st and 62nd Light Tank Battalions, Ragruppamento Trivioli, Colonel Antonio Trivioli, with the 2 Medium Tank Battalion, less 1 Company and the IX, XX, and LXI Light Tank Battalions and Ragruppamento Maletti with the LX Light Tank Battalion and the remaining M11-39 Company from the 2 Medium Tank Battalion. Ragruppamento Maletti became part of the Regio Corpo Truppi Coloniali della Libia Royal Corps of Libyan Colonial Troops, with the 1st Libyan Division Sibel and the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori. <laughs> Western Desert Force Middle East Command under General Archibald Wavell had about 36,000 soldiers, some outside Egypt, 120 guns and 275 tanks. The RAF had 142 aircraft in two squadrons of Hurricanes, one of Gloucester Gladiators, three of Bristol Blenheims, three of Vickers Wellingtons and one of Bristol Bombays, about 46 fighters and 116 bombers. The Western Desert Force WDF was commanded by Lieutenant General Richard O'Connor with the 4th Indian Infantry Division Major General Noel Beresford Pearce and the 7th Armoured Division Major General Sir Michael Amor Krieg. 
From 14 December, troops of the 6th Australian Infantry Division Major General Ivan Gifford McKay, replaced the 4th Indian Division, which was sent to East Africa, less one brigade. The British had some fast cruiser MKI, cruiser MK2 and cruiser MK3 tanks with ordnance QF two-pounder guns, which were superior to Fiat M11-39 tanks. The British also had a battalion of Matilda II infantry tanks that while slow, were also equipped with the two-pounder. The armour of the Matildas could not be penetrated by Italian anti-tank guns or field guns. <inaudible> <inaudible> Border skirmishes Italy declared war on Britain and France on 10 June 1940. During the next few months there were raids and skirmishes between Italian forces in Libya and British and Commonwealth forces in Egypt. On 12 June 1940, the Mediterranean fleet bombarded Tobruk. The force included the cruisers HMS Liverpool and HMS Gloucester also exchanged fire with the Italian cruiser San Giorgio. Royal Air Force Blenheim bombers from No. 45, No. 55 and No. 211 squadrons, hit the San Giorgio with one bomb. On 19 June, the British submarine HMS Parthian fired two torpedoes at San Giorgio but missed. San Giorgio's role was then to support the local anti-aircraft units and claimed 47 British aircraft shot down or damaged. San Giorgio also shot down the Savoia Marchetti SM.79 aircraft carrying Italo Balbo, the Governor-General of Libya and Commander-in-Chief of Italian forces in North Africa. Topic. Prelude Topic. Operazioni E On 13 September 1940, the Italian 10th Army advanced into Egypt in Operazioni E as the Italians advanced. The small British force at Salem withdrew to the main defensive position east of Mersamatru. The Italian advance was harassed by the 3rd Coldstream Guards, attached artillery, and other units. After recapturing Fort Capuzzo, the Italians advanced approximately 95 kilometers (59 miles) in 3 days and on the 16th of September, the advance stopped at Maktila, 16 kilometers (9.9 .9 miles) beyond Sidi Barani. The Italians dug in and awaited reinforcements and supplies along the Via della Vittoria, an extension of the Via Balbia being built from the frontier. Five fortified camps were built around Sidi Barani from Maktila, 24 kilometers 15 miles east along the coast, south to Tamar East, Tamar West and Naibewa and Sofafai on the escarpment to the southwest. Topic. British plan Following the Italian advance, Wavell ordered the commander of British troops Egypt, Lieutenant General Sir Henry Maitland Wilson, to plan a limited operation to push the Italians back. Operation Compass, for administrative reasons, was originally planned as a five-day raid but consideration was given to continuing the operation to exploit success. On 28 November, Wavell wrote to Wilson that, I do not entertain extravagant hopes of this operation but I do wish to make certain that if a big opportunity occurs we are prepared morally, mentally and administratively to use it to the fullest. The 7th support group was to observe the Italian camps on the escarpment around Sofafai, to prevent the garrisons from interfering, while the rest of the division and 4th Indian division passed through the Sofafai Naibewa gap. An Indian brigade and infantry tanks of 7th Royal Tank Regiment 7th RTR would attack Naibewa from the west, as the 7th Armoured Division protected their northern flank. Once Naibewa was captured, a 2nd Indian Brigade and the 7th RTR would attack the Tummers. Selby Force 3rd Battalion Coldstream Guards plus some artillery from the Matru garrison was to contain the enemy camp at Maktila on the coast and the Royal Navy would bombard Maktila and Sidi Barani. Preparations were kept secret and only a few officers knew during the training exercise held from 25 to 26 November, that the objectives marked out near Matru were replicas of Naibewa and Tamar. The troops were also told that a second exercise was to follow and did not know that the operation was real until 7 December, as they arrived at their jumping-off points. Late on 8 December, an Italian reconnaissance aircrew reported that attack on Maktila and Naibewa was imminent but Maleti was not informed. On 9 December, the 1st Libyan Division Sibel was at Maktila and the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori was at Tamar. The Maleti group was at Nibiwa and the 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Geneo and the headquarters of the Libyan Corps were at Sidi Barani. 
The 63rd Infantry Division Serene and the headquarters of 21st Corps were at Sofafi and the 64th Infantry Division Katanzaro was at Buqbuq. The headquarters of the 23rd Corps and the 2nd Blackshirt Division 28 October were in Salem and Halfaya Pass respectively and the 62nd Infantry Division Marmaritza was at Sidi Omar, south of Salem. Berdi was on sick leave and Gariboldi, the 1st Blackshirt Division 23 Marzo and the 10th Army Headquarters were far back at Bardia. By the time Berdi arrived in Libya, so had the British. Operation Compass La Battaglia della Marmaritza, Battle of the Marmaritza began on the night of 7-8 December. The Western Desert Force with the 7th Armored Division, 4th Indian Division and the 16th Infantry Brigade advanced 70 miles 113 km to their start line. The RAF made attacks on Italian airfields and destroyed or damaged 29 aircraft on the ground. Selby Force Brigadier A. R. Selby with 1,800 men the maximum for whom transport could be found, moved up from Matru, set up a brigade of dummy tanks in the desert and reached a position southeast of Moktila by dawn on 9 December. Moktila had been bombarded by the monitor HMS Terror and the gunboat HMS Aphis, Sidi Barani had been shelled by the gunboat HMS Ladybird. <laughs> Battle of the Camps Topic. Naibewa At 5 a.m. on 9 December, a detachment of artillery commenced diversionary fire from the east on the fortified camp at Naibewa for an hour, which was held by the Maleti group and at 7.15 a.m. the divisional artillery began a preliminary bombardment. The 11th Indian Infantry Brigade, with 7th RTR under command, attacked Naibewa from the northwest, which reconnaissance had established as the weakest sector. By 8.30 a.m., Naibewa had been captured, Maleti had been killed in the fighting along with 818 men and 1,338 wounded, 2,000 Italian and Libyan soldiers were taken prisoner. Large quantities of supplies were captured for British casualties of 56 men. The Tummers The attack on Tamar West began at 1.50 p.m., after the 7th RTR had refueled and artillery had bombarded the defences for an hour. Another approach from the northwest was made and tanks broke through the perimeter, followed 20 minutes later by the infantry. The defenders held out for longer than the Naibewa garrison but by 4 p.m. Tamar West was overrun except for the northeastern corner. The tanks moved on to Tamar East, the greater part of which was captured by nightfall. The 4th Armoured Brigade had advanced to Azizia, where the garrison of 400 men surrendered and light patrols of the 7th Hussars pushed forward to cut the road from Sidi Barani to Buqbuq, while armoured cars of the 11th Hussars ranged further west. The tanks of 7th Armoured Brigade were held in reserve ready to intercept an Italian counterattack. The 2nd Libyan Division lost 26 officers and 1,327 men killed, 32 officers and 804 men wounded, with the survivors being taken prisoner. <laughs> Moktila Unaware of the situation at the Tummers, Selby sent units to cut the western exits from Moktila but the 1st Libyan Division Sibel filtered through and escaped. Selby Force followed up the retreat as the 1st Libyan Division moved the 15 miles 24 km from Moktila to Sidi Barani and drove part of the column into sand dunes north of the coast road. Cruiser tanks of the 6th Royal Tank Regiment 6th RTR arrived in a sandstorm and overran the Italians in the dunes at about 5.15 p.m., then joined Selby Force to continue the pursuit. The Italian defenders were caught at Sidi Barani, in a pocket 10 by 5 miles 16.1 by 8.0 kilometers backing onto the sea. When the British attacked again at dawn on of December, mass surrenders began everywhere, except at point 90 where troops of the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori held out for a short time, after which 2,000 troops surrendered. <laughs> Sidi Barani, Buqbuq and Sofafi On 10 December, the 16th Infantry Brigade was brought forward from 4th Indian Division Reserve and with part of the 11th Indian Brigade under command, advanced in lorries to attack Sidi Barani. While moving across exposed ground, some casualties were incurred but with support from artillery and the 7th RTR, it was in position barring the south and southwestern exits to Sidi Barani by 1.30 p.m. 
The British attacked at 4 p.m. supported by the divisional artillery and the town fell by nightfall. The remains of the two Libyan divisions and the 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Geneo were trapped between the 16th Infantry Brigade and Selby Force. On the 11th of December, Selby Force and some tanks attacked and overran the 1st Libyan Division Sibel and by the evening, the 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Geneo had also surrendered. On the 11th of December, the 7th Armoured Brigade was ordered out of reserve to relieve the 4th Armoured Brigade in the BUQBUQ -BUQ area, mop up and capture large numbers of men and guns. A patrol from the 7th Support Group entered Rabia and found it empty. The 63rd Division Serene had withdrawn from Rabia and Sofafi overnight. An order to the 4th Armoured Brigade to cut them off west of Sofafi arrived too late and the Italians were able to retire along the escarpment and join Italian forces at Halfaya. Italian casualties were 2,184 men killed, 2,287 troops wounded and 38,000 prisoners. Exploitation Over the next few days the 4th Armoured Brigade, on top of the escarpment and the 7th Armoured Brigade on the coast, attempted a pursuit but supply problems and the large number of prisoners 20 times the number planned for impeded the advance. Italian forces crowded along the coast road and retreating from Sidi Barani and BUQBUQ, were bombarded by terror and the two gunboats, which fired on the solemn area all day and most of the night of of December. Late on 12 December, the only Italian positions left in Egypt were the approaches to Solemn and the area of Sidi Omar. The Italians had lost 38,289 Italian and Libyan casualties, most taken prisoner, 73 tanks and 237 guns, against 634 British casualties. The WDF paused to reorganize and then moved quickly west along the Via della Vittoria, through Halfaya Pass and recaptured Fort Capuzzo in Libya. On 7 December, Wellington bombers from Malta and Blenheim bombers from Egypt carried out raids on the Italian air bases at Castel Benito, Benina and El Adem, the attack on Castel Benito being particularly successful, with hits on five hangars and strafing runs which hit many Italian aircraft, the attacks continued until the end of the year. <laughs> Pursuit Solemn, Halfaya and Fort Capuzzo Exploitation continued by the two armoured brigades and the 7th Support Group, with the infantry of 16th Infantry Brigade which had been detached from the 4th Indian Division following up. By 15 December, Solemn and the Halfaya Pass had been captured and the British bypassed Italian garrisons further south in the desert. Fort Capuzzo, 64 kilometers 40 miles inland at the end of the frontier wire, was captured on Passant by 7th Armored Division in December 1940, as it advanced westwards to Bardia. The 7th Armored Division concentrated southwest of Bardia, waiting for the arrival of 6th Australian Division. By this time the WDF had taken 38,300 prisoners and captured 237 guns and 73 tanks, while suffering casualties of 133 killed, 387 wounded and 8 missing. Bardia The 6th Australian Division Major General Ivan McKay attacked the Italian 23rd Corps General di Corpo d'Armata Lieutenant General Annabelle Bergonzoli Bardia from 3 to 5 January 1941, assisted by air support, naval gunfire and artillery barrages. The 16th Australian Infantry Brigade attacked at dawn from the west, where the defences were known to be weak. Sappers blew gaps in the barbed wire with Bangalore torpedoes, then filled in and broke down the sides of the anti-tank ditch with picks and shovels. The Australian infantry and 23 Matilda II tanks of the 7th RTR, overran the Italian defences and took 8,000 prisoners. The 17th Australian Infantry Brigade exploited the breach made in the perimeter and pressed south, as far as a secondary line of defences known as the switch line. On the second day, the 16th Australian Infantry Brigade captured Bardia, cutting the fortress in two. Thousands of prisoners were taken and the remnants of the Italian garrison held only the northern and southernmost parts of the fortress. On the third day, the 19th Australian Infantry Brigade advanced south from Bardia, supported by artillery and the remaining six Matilda tanks. The 17th Australian Infantry Brigade attacked and the two brigades reduced the southern sector of the fortress. 
The Italian garrisons in the north surrendered to the 16th Australian Infantry Brigade and the 7th Support Group outside the fortress. About 25,000 prisoners were taken, along with 400 guns, 130 light and medium tanks, and hundreds of motor vehicles. Italian casualties also included 1,703 killed and 3,740 men wounded. Topic. Capture of Tobruk The two-thirds Road Australian Battalion attacked at 5.40 am on 21 January and after an hour, the 16th Australian Brigade and 18i tanks broke through to a depth of 1 mile 1 km on a 1 mile 1 km front. The 16th Australian Brigade fanned out at 8.40 am and the 19th Australian Brigade advanced north, behind an artillery barrage and counter-battery fire on the Italian artillery. The 2 8 Australian Battalion was held up at the Bardia El Adem crossroads, by a force of dug-in tanks and machine-gun nests but at 2 p.m., the Australians attacked again and broke through on the right. On the left, the Australians were counter-attacked by seven tanks and infantry behind an artillery barrage. The Italian attack was repulsed by the infantry, two anti-tank guns and two I-tanks after the tank crews realised that the tanks were Italian. More resistance was met near Palastrino, which held out until 9.30 p.m. and the area around Solero was captured along with Manella. During the day, Blenheims of 55 and 113 squadrons flew 56 sorties against Tobruk, the Gladiators and Hurricanes of 3 Squadron RAAF and 73 and 274 squadrons RAF patrolled to the west. Half of the Tobruk area had been captured by nightfall and the Italians began demolitions at the harbour. The armoured cruiser San Giorgio, having been ordered to stay and help with the defence till the end, fired on the advancing Australian troops until the naval base fell, then she was blown up by her crew to avoid capture. At dawn, Major General Della Mura, commander of the 61st Infantry Division Serta, surrendered with several thousand troops. The 6th Australian Cavalry Regiment reached the port and took the surrender of Admiral Viatina and the naval garrison. By 3.45 p.m., 20,000 prisoners, 208 guns and 87 tanks had been captured for the loss of 400 men, 355 of them Australian. Italian casualties were 18 officers and 750 men killed, 30 officers and 2,250 men wounded. Most of the demolitions conducted by the Italians had been of stores rather than installations. The inshore squadron began mine sweeping and opened the port on the 24th of January. Topic: <laughs> Derna Mahili. The area east of the Jebel Akdar Mountains was garrisoned by 20th Corps Lieutenant General Annabel Berganzoli with the 60th Infantry Division Sabratha and the Babini Group, which had 120 tanks. The tank force included 82 new M1340 tanks, which needed 10 days to be made battle-worthy but had been rushed forward anyway. The Sabratha division held a line from Derna, along Wadi Derna to Mahili, with the Babini group at Mahili, Giovanni Berta and Sholan, guarding the flank and rear of the infantry. On 23 January, the 10th Army commander, General Giuseppe Tellera ordered a counterattack against the British, to avoid an envelopment of 20th Corps from the south. Next day, the Babini group, with 10 to 15 of the new M1340 S, attacked the 7th Hussars as they headed west to cut the Derna Mahili track north of Mahili. The British swiftly retired, calling for help from the 2nd RTR, which complacently ignored the signals. The British lost several tanks and knocked out two M13s, until eventually, the 2nd RTR mobilized and caught the Italian tanks while they were skylined on a ridge and knocked out seven M13s, for the loss of a cruiser and six light tanks. To the north, the 2 11th Australian Battalion engaged the Sabratha Division and Bersaglieri companies of the Babini Group at Derna Airfield, making slow progress against determined resistance. The 19th Australian Brigade began to arrive in the morning and Italian bombers and fighters attacked the Australians. The Italians swept the flat ground with field artillery and machine guns, stopping the Australian advance 3,000 yards 2, meters short of the objective. On 26 January, the two-quarters Australian battalion cut the Derna Mahili Road and a company crossed Wadi Derna during the night against bold Italian counter-attacks. The Italians disengaged on the night of 28-29 January, before the garrison was trapped and rearguards of the Babini group cratered roads, planted mines and booby traps and managed to conduct several skillful ambushes, which slowed the British pursuit. 
Derna was occupied unopposed on 29 January and the Australians began a pursuit along the Via Balbia, closing on Giovanni Berta during 31 January. <laughs> Battle of Beta Fomm In late January, the British learned that the Italians were retreating along the Litterania Balbo via Balbia from Benghazi. The 7th Armoured Division was dispatched to intercept the remnants of the 10th Army by moving through the desert, south of the Jebel Akhdar Green Mountain via MSUs and Antelot, as the 6th Australian Division pursued the Italians along the coast road, north of the Jebel. The terrain slowed the British tanks and Coombe Force Lieutenant Colonel J. F. B. Coombe, a flying column of wheeled vehicles was sent ahead across the court of the Jebel. Late on 5 February, Coombe Force arrived at the Via Balbia south of Benghazi and set up road blocks near Sidi Sala, about 32 kilometres north of Ahadabia and 30 miles 48 km southwest of Antelot. The leading elements of the 10th Army arrived 30 minutes later. Next day, the Italians attacked to break through the road block and continued to attack into 7 February. With British reinforcements arriving and the Australians pressing down the road from Benghazi, the 10th Army surrendered. From Benghazi to Ajadabia, the British took 25,000 prisoners, captured 107 tanks and 93 guns. <laughs> Desert operations Jarabub, Kufra and Uwinot Italian garrisons held Jarabub 150 miles 240 km south of Salem, Kufra Oasis, Jallo at the west end of the Great Sand Sea and Merzuk, 500 miles 800 km south of Tripoli. The oasis of Jarabub was attacked in January 1941 and captured in March by the 6th Australian Cavalry Regiment and an Australian Infantry Battalion. Further south, on the far side of the Sand Sea, the oasis of Kufra was attacked by Free French from French Equatorial Africa, in concert with Long Range Desert Group (LRDG) patrols. Kufra later fell after the two-month capture of Kufra in March 1941. Further west, on the border with Chad, the Italian base at Merzuk was raided in January, when a patrol of the new Long Range Patrol Unit and a local sheikh traveled 1,300 miles (2,100 kilometers) to rendezvous near Kayugi with a small Free French detachment. The force attacked Merzuk and destroyed three aircraft and a hangar. The French commander was killed, most of the Italians surrendered and several prisoners were taken. The raiders then shot up three forts and departed. At Jebel Uwinot, a 6,000 feet 1, meters massif 600 miles 970 kilometers inland, at the junctions of Egypt, Libya and Sudan, were landing grounds with an Italian garrison. The base was the closest Italian outpost to the East African Empire and a raid from Uwinot on Wadi Halfa in Sudan was possible. Destruction of the dockyards and railway workshops and the sinking of vessels on the Nile, could cut the link between Khartoum and Cairo. British patrols visited Faya and met another French detachment with General Philippe Leclerc for an attack on Kufra. The British were strafed by aircraft and attacked by armoured cars of the Italian Auto Saharan Company, which destroyed several lorries. Leclerc decided that an attack on Kufra was not possible and the remaining British returned to Cairo, after a 45-day journey of 6,900 kilometres Kufra was captured on 1 March, by the French and became the new LRDG base in April. <laughs> Aftermath <laughs> <laughs> Analysis The success of the 7th Armoured Division encouraged a belief in the Royal Tank Regiment that maneuver could win battles. The engagement with the Babini Group on the 24th of January led to a conclusion that armoured divisions needed more artillery. No integration of tanks with infantry or the use of anti-tank guns offensively was considered necessary. The lack of cover in the desert encouraged dispersion to avoid air attack, but this reduced firepower at the decisive point. Due to the exiguous nature of supply and transport, conservation during lulls also encouraged the use of small jock columns a motorized infantry company, a field gun battery and several armored cars. The success of such columns against the Italians led to exaggerated expectations, which were confounded when German troops, with better equipment and training, arrived in Libya. 
The 7th Armored Division concluded that the defensive mentality of the Italians had justified the taking of exceptional risks, which would be unjustified against German troops. Casualties The WDF lost 500 killed, 55 missing, and 1,373 wounded. The RAF lost 26 aircraft, comprising 6 Hurricanes, 5 Gladiators, 3 Wellingtons, a Valentia and 11 Blenheims. A far larger number of aircraft became non-operational due to damage, which could not be repaired quickly for lack of spare parts, a problem made worse by the increased use of explosive bullets by the Italians. On the 14th of December, a raid on Bardia by 9 Blenheims cost one aircraft shot down and seven damaged by explosive bullets. The Italian 10th Army lost at least 5,500 men killed, about 10,000 wounded, 133,298 men taken prisoner, 420 tanks and 8 145 guns. Topic: Subsequent operations. A week after the Italian surrender at Beta FOMM, the Defence Committee in London ordered Cyrenaica to be held with the minimum of forces and the surplus sent to Greece. In the WDF, now 13th Corps, the 6th Australian Division was fully equipped and had few losses to replace. The 7th Armoured Division had been operating for eight months, had worn out its mechanical equipment and was withdrawn to refit. Two regiments of the 2nd Armoured Division with the WDF were also worn out, leaving the division with only four tank regiments. The 6th Australian Division went to Greece in March, with an armoured brigade group of the 2nd Armoured Division, the remainder of the division and the new 9th Australian Division, minus two brigades and most of its transport sent to Greece, were replaced by two under-equipped brigades of the 7th Australian Division. The division took over in Cyrenaica, on the assumption that the Italians could not begin a counter-offensive until May, even with German reinforcements. The 2nd Armoured Division in Cyrenaica had the 3rd Armoured Brigade, with an under-strength light tank regiment, a 2nd Regiment using captured Italian tanks and a cruiser tank regiment from mid-March, also with worn-out tanks. The 2nd Support Group had only one motor battalion, a field artillery regiment, one anti-tank battery and a machinegun company. Most of the divisional transport had been sent to Greece. A few thousand men of the 10th Army escaped the disaster in Cyrenaica but the 5th Army in Tripolitania had four divisions. The Serta, TMED Hassan and Burat strongholds were reinforced from Italy, which brought the 10th and 5th Armies up to about 150,000 men. German reinforcements were sent to Libya to form a blocking detachment under Directive 22 the 11th of January, these being the first units of the Afrika Korps Generalleutnant Erwin Rommel. On 25 March 1941, Graziani was replaced by Garibaldi. <laughs> <laughs> Order of battle 10th Army, 9 December, Western Desert Force, 9 December. Supreme Commander Italian Forces in North Africa, Marshal Rodolfo Graziani 10th Army, Lieutenant General Giuseppe Tellera, 13 September 1940 21st Corps, 10th Army Reserve, Tobruk 61st Infantry Division Serta 2nd Blackshirt Division 28 October LX Light Tank Battalion L3 22nd Corps 64th Infantry Division Cotanzaro 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Geneo 23rd Corps Lieutenant General Annabel Bergonzoli 1st Blackshirt Division 23 Marzo fully motorized 62nd Infantry Division Marmaritza part motorized LXIII Light Tank Battalion L3 ATTD 62nd Division 63rd Infantry Division Serene part motorized LXII Light Tank Battalion L3 ATTD 63rd Division 1st Libyan Division Sibel non motorized 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori non motorized X Light Tank Battalion L3 ATTD 2nd Libyan Division Commando Carry Armati della Libia 1st Raggruppamento Carry reserved to 23rd Corps, under control of the 10th Army I Medium Tank Battalion M11 21 Light Tank Battalion L3 2nd Raggruppamento Carry XX Light Tank Battalion L3 
LXI Light Tank Battalion L3 Ragrupamento Maletti part of 23rd Corps 2 Medium Tank Battalion M11 3 Motorized Libyan Infantry Battalions Western Desert Force Commander in Chief Middle East General Sir Archibald Wavell Commander WDF Lieutenant General R N O'Connor Corps Troops 7th Battalion Royal Tank Regiment Matildas 1st Royal Horse Artillery 104th Royal Horse Artillery 51st Field Regiment RA 7th Medium Regiments RA 64th Medium Regiments RA 7th Armored Division 4th Armored Brigade 7th Armored Brigade Support Group Infantry Brigade Divisional Troops 4th Indian Division 5th Indian Infantry Brigade 11th Indian Infantry Brigade Divisional Troops 16th Infantry Brigade attached to 4th Indian Division until the 11th of December 1940 Selby Force 1800 troops of the Matru garrison Topic See also North African Campaign Timeline Military History of Italy during World War II Topic Notes Topic Footnotes Topic References Books Theses Websites Topic Further reading Books Journals Newspapers Reports Theses Websites Topic External links La Battaglia della Marmarizza A few memories of Corporal Nazareno Ganino of the Sabratha Division The Italian Army in Egypt during World War II The Engagement at Derna, AWM Animated map of Operation Compass Operation Compass Desert War. Net